Hi guys, I'm Irene with Girl Talks Fish and today I'm in the city of Fort Collins, Colorado. The fourth biggest city in the state, home to Colorado State University, as well as the northernmost fish store in Colorado, at least that I visited. And the reason why I picked this place to be the first ever fish store tour I've done is because it's so clean and so professional. Like combine the polish of a major pet store chain with the... Uh, <laughs> with the charm and uniqueness of a local fish store, and this is what we got. Welcome to the Fish Crew. <laughs> I'm keeping it. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> okay. I like it. Awesome. So this is the Fish Crew. We're one of the northernmost fish stores in the state. We've been open for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. We are a small business and then we do have our 2200 gallon tank here in the middle um, that has our shark and a uh, large eel in there. Um, and then we do um, something kind of unusual from other stores is like our aqua spin, water testing, which is a little bit more accurate than a lot of the other ways. Now I hear the store has an interesting background. Like how did you guys get started? So the owners and two of our managers worked together at a previous pet store and they dreamed up um, an aquatic oasis on the Aww. back of some napkins and um, Oh, we opened up in 2013, going on 10 years. That's so cool. So the first thing you see when you come into the store is like immediately on the left side, this giant, amazing planted tank. Both of these are 225 gallon tanks. They've been running for years. It's one of those things where our general manager is here so much that he doesn't have any fish tanks at home. So these are kind of his babies. <sighs> Yep, and so we all um, take care of them and we trim this guy once a week. He's got this big old 20 pound um, <laughs> CO2 cylinder. Awesome. The only thing I have to ask is why the random orange things? Yeah. <laughs> what, are, what are those decorations um, for? Are they like ammonia absorbing? Like, I have no idea what these are. Nope, our general manager got a 3D printer and made some uh, Thanksgiving decorations, <laughs> got a wishbone. <laughs> Uh, turkey. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the saltwater tank. You've got a turkey. <laughs> yes, we have a turkey. If you look in all of our displays, there's little things in them right now. Um, and I don't know much about corals. Are these um, soft corals? Or? Yeah, so we do have some softies in here. We also do have like an acro, SPS coral up here in the corner, some bird's nests. You saltwater people, you know what that meant. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then we do have some of our big tanks, a Bellis Angel. Um, Sweet! Yeah. Okay, let's check out the rest of the store. Cool. Okay, so after the big display tanks in the front, you draw people in, and then we've got this amazing checkout area. Like, wow, the plants. And then when you kind of leave the checkout area, we've got a ton of tanks over here. So we keep a, everything from like a one gallon all the way up to a 150. Okay. Um, and if you don't see something that you want, we can order stuff in for you. All right, I love this first section. Show me your shrimp. So um, these are our shrimp racks. What is the most popular color shrimp? Oh, blue. Blue? blue. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where are they? Blues and reds. We got the blue velvets down here. Kids really like blue shrimp. Really? Yeah, and then of course the fire reds, cherries, you know, the red but shrimps. But do the blues even show up in planted tanks that well? Not as well as red or right? orange. That's why I'm like so surprised that blue's like way up there. Yeah, it's just kids really love blue shrimp. And then you also have some dwarf crayfish here. The blue bolts are my favorite. I was gonna say, if I was gonna get a blue shrimp, I would get the blue bolt ones versus the darker blue one because like I said, they don't show, I mean, they're very pretty, but they just don't seem to show up as well. No, I don't think so. Um, we do get like the blue, I think they're blue dreams that are a lighter blue. Okay. But this is so cool because it's just like that ombre effect of blue to white. Right, okay. I think those guys next, are so cool. Next tank, I definitely have to get those. So now we get to the good part, my favorite part, the fresh water fish. These tanks look so clean and perfect. Are they custom made? Yeah, so these systems are custom made and shipped up, um, into us whenever we got the store uh, up and running. So clean. <laughs> right? It's amazing. How do you choose 
what fish to get in? Like, what are some of the top sellers? So a lot of it is going off of um, demand and what people are kind of wanting and what's selling better than others mm -hmm. and then trying to keep up with, you know, the aquarium trends, what's mm -hmm. popular, what people are becoming attracted to and what they might be more attracted to in the future and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I see you have then, a little bit of everything. You've got the lie bears, guppies, we've got rainbow fish here. I love this whole section, like, just for African cichlids. And then you've got the decor to kind of match it too, like the real rock work and everything like that. That's really, really neat. How does the plumbing kind of work? Do you, is it each rack is kind of its own system? They all share the same water? Yeah, so each system does have um, one plumbing system. Okay. Um, but since there can be, you know, disease in one tank but not yeah. in another, um, all of the water has gone through a bunch of uh, filtration and then we do have a UV sterilizer on all of them and we do try super hard not to cross contaminate. For sure. Um, and then how do you do the water change? Is it, is it from the back? Like, are there big sumps that you work with or? Um, we actually just take a really big, like one of those 32 gallon buckets and some siphons and then we pull water out of each individual. From the front? Yep, okay. and then we take a gravel vac um, and just pull water from each tank and then okay. go back in and so you're saying there's song. no shortcut to cleanliness. <laughs> Not really. It just helps when you pay a bunch of people to do it for you. <laughs> and then we have tetras, rasporas, danios, barbs, everything down here. Okay. And goldfish and everything in that last system over there. So there's a method to the madness. And then this is the like scaping table. Oh, this is your scaping area. Yeah. I love this. Oh, and you have like the inches and everything like that. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. You got the rules as well. Yes. Please don't have your children dig in here. Right. Tell me about the plants and what kind of fertilizers do you guys like to use in store? Um, so we use a lot of Seachem and Aqua Vitro. Mm -hmm. On this side, you know, it's a lot of Flourish, Flourish Excel. We dose the iron, yeah. the potassium advanced. So the tissue cultures don't have to be kept in a fridge because some stores I go to, they have theirs in a fridge of some sort, but no, they don't have to be. They just need to, you know, be kept at a reasonable temperature. They're like busting out of this thing. Look at this. Right? <laughs> They're like, let, let me out. out. So we do have the uh, Reptifauna over here now, which are just those bioactive plants. Ooh, these are so cool. Yeah. Do you get many people coming in here wanting to make paludariums and terrariums? There are a pretty good amount of people. Um, carrying these is somewhat new for us. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't remember this last time I came. Right. And you guys actually sell floating plants. Mm -hmm. What was a crab? Yeah, <gasps> we have a bunch of fiddler crabs in there. Oh, They're kind of everywhere. Cool. Just making babies. <laughs> yeah. Salt water is harder than fresh water just because it is more things that you need to pay attention to, especially in Colorado since yeah. the evaporation rate is so high. Okay. Um, I definitely encourage like auto top offs and things like that just to make sure that salinity is staying in yeah, range. Yeah. You know, you do want to be mindful and you do want to be careful, um, but it really isn't that hard. This is the monstrosity in the yes. middle of the store. How many gallons is this thing? So it is 2,700 gallons total, 2,200 in the display, 500 gallons underneath. How big is that thing? A hermit, is that a hermit crab? What is that? Oh yeah, he's a giant hermit. That's like the size he's of the a, He's a unit, yeah. That's awesome. And then I think I saw a shark down there. What is that? He's a bamboo shark. Okay, tell me more about some of the fish in here. I also saw a giant Right eel? Yeah. What is his name? Um, that's our leopard eel. Her name is Tessa. Um, she doesn't eat the other inhabitants? She is not very nice to her friends sometimes, but for the most part, she behaves herself. <laughs> so we just covered the whole store. What percentage of the business would you say is freshwater versus saltwater? And then you guys also have an aquarium service business as well. Yeah, so our store is pretty 50-50, fresh water, oh, salt okay. water. Um, we do try to help out everyone along their fish keeping journey from mm. the beginning to, um, you know, the more advanced customers. Um, but our service started about eight, eight, eight years ago. Mm. We've had um, a couple different service techs. Um, right now, Sherry is our service manager and Tanner is our uh, service technician. Okay. 
um, but we do um, service about three days a week okay. um, and send them out. And is it mostly cleaning tanks or I saw some of the services you offer was also like actually setting up the aquarium and doing yeah. like aquascapes and stuff like that too. Yeah, we do uh, tank moves, tank installs, yeah. tank setups, that whole thing Very as well, cool. yeah. Okay, you've worked at the store for a bit. What is some key advice you would give to like a beginner who's coming into the store for the first time and you're like, I really want them to be successful before they go home. The last thing I'm gonna tell them is. Right, um, I try to um, definitely go over the nitrogen cycle mm. so that people have an idea of what's actually keeping their ecosystem yeah. running. Definitely, I do try to encourage people to do research before they come in. Mm. Um, that way they have an idea of kind of what they want. Um, and then if they have specific questions, then um, you know we can try and help them that way. But even if they don't, that's totally okay too. Well, thank you so much for spending your morning with me. For everybody who wants to learn about the Fish Crew, where can they find you online? Um, we are at fishcrew.com, um, and then we do have a TikTok and Instagram okay. um, and a Facebook, so you can find us um, there as well. Very cool. And sometimes you guys go to shows as well, right? I saw you guys yeah. just went to Aquashella. So yeah. even if you're not in Colorado, you may see them at a future convention near you. So. Yes, and we are planning and participating in Reef Stock again this okay. year. Okay, so. very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank Love you. It.